Welcome to an Empower PL video tutorial. We are working in Google Slides and let's pretend we are done with our presentation and we are ready to share it. So as you can see on my screen, I've got a slide deck that uh, has some content on it. I am now ready to share this with a colleague, perhaps because I want that person to help me finish this or it's ready to go and I wanna share it out. So a couple of different ways uh, to be able to share any document, whether it be a Google Doc or a, a Google Sheet, or in this case, a Google Slide Deck. We simply go up to the share button that's gonna be located up at the top right and in Google Slides that button is yellow. So we're gonna click on that button and it's gonna pop open a, uh, a window that's gonna have some options for us. Now, initially when you first create a Google Slide, if uh, you're the only one that has access to that folder where you're creating the slide, or it's a brand new slide um, that's going straight into your Google Drive and it's gonna be private. And so it's gonna have a little lock on it and only you can view it at that time. To add people, you simply put in their uh, email accounts, their Google accounts, uh, right there where it says add people in groups. Um, of course, if you have a group email that um, several people have access to, for example, let's say you are working with a department at your school and there are, let's say five, 10 people within that department and you have a group email. If you were to add that group email here, then all of those people would receive access to this document. But we're gonna go ahead and just add one person. Um, so I'm gonna use my other account here to add um, to this particular slide. And that person, if I leave this checked here where it says notify people, they're gonna receive an email letting them know that I have shared this presentation with them. You can also add a message if you would like. So here is the presentation. Okay, so you can add a message if you'd like, or you don't have to. And you also have the ability to change the rights that this person has to this presentation. So it could be that maybe I'm sharing this presentation and I only wanna give that person comment rights because I'm looking for feedback uh, from that person, but I don't want them to edit, then I would select comment. I could also share this with just view rights because perhaps I'm just sharing this and I want people to just be able to see the presentation itself, but not necessarily uh, comment on it or have any edit rights to it. But of course, if I'm inviting you to this document because I want your help in customizing and tweaking and, and uh, helping me finish the presentation, perhaps I'm selecting then editor because I want you to be able to jump in there and make changes. This is of course gonna be a great option for kids who are doing group projects where all of the kids are meant to be in the presentation making edits to the document. So you can decide which of the three options you wanna select there, make your choice, and then the last thing you're, you're gonna do is simply click on send. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that blue button to send that presentation, and now there are two of us that have access to this. And you'll notice that the uh, yellow button, um, that share button up here, now has a little icon that has two little people on there. It's letting me know this is a shared presentation. And you'll notice that when you hover over that button in the little drop down menu, it lets you know you have shared this with somebody else. So a lot of nice visual elements to let you know that something has been shared. So that is how you share a uh, Google slide deck with somebody else. Again, this step that we just did is applicable if you are sharing a Google Doc or Google um, Sheet, it, it's the same stuff. So you've now learned how to do that across those uh, different applications.